Look at this. Man, I can't wait until the real one shows up. We have one reserved later this year. It's coming. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna to be installing a retractable sunshade in a Model 3. I've seen a lot of videos for these in the Model Y. I don't think I've seen a single one in the Model 3 yet, so let's get this done. And this is what the kit looks like. This was sent to me by a company called EV Base. So thank you to EV Base for sponsoring this video. There aren't any instructions in the box, but it doesn't look too bad. So I think we can figure this out, guys. Let's walk through this together. All right, so I've got these two rods here and one has an arrow pointing one direction, the other an arrow the other direction. So I'm gonna go try to figure out this because they are two different lengths. So one is gonna be on this glass and the other is gonna be on this glass. So. I'll try to figure this out real quick and I'll show you which one is which. Before we do anything, there are some screws here that you'll need to remove on either end. So there's four total. Let's go ahead and get these removed. So between these two, uh, the shorter one, as written here in Chinese, says rear window. So this one is the rear window, um, which is the shorter of the two. So just know that the longer one goes for the front glass and the shorter one goes for the rear glass. So this sunscreen right here is gonna be for the front window. This right here in Chinese says front window. So it, you could either use a translation app or just watch this video and match yours up with this one. Those symbols there are for front window. So I'm gonna point this towards the front windshield and this in towards the back. So let's go ahead and start that. So all around this, you'll see these little tabs that stick out like that. These are what's going to tuck into this crevice here between the glass and the trim piece. And these are what really holds it in place. And um, there's gonna be a crossbar for one end that's got Velcro that holds one side up with some screws. And this other side just slides in with the tabs. For the front glass, I recommend going through the back door and that way you can put this in like this over the headrests and slide it into place that way. But before we do that, let's go ahead and insert the crossbar that goes along the back. All right, it took me a minute to figure this out, but I think I've got it now. So this piece is going to slide into place uh, with the tabs here. But before you install the other piece, this is actually all Velcroed down. So you need to remove the frame from the trim piece and you install the frame first and then you'll overlay the trim piece on top of it with the Velcro. Now I'm sliding the frame into the front like this. I'm gonna rest it on the headrest and move to the front seat. So next what you're gonna do is take the screws and screw the frame into that crossbar that you already inserted. And now we can just use the Velcro to Velcro this into place. We're gonna do the same for the rear window. You slide it over.
This is what the frame looks like installed. Notice the plastic tabs that go into the trim piece here. And also on these sides over here, you'll have it going into the side right here where the main piece will bolt onto the cross beam. This is another view of the front glass and this is the rear glass. You'll see that the tabs tuck in to this area here. We do have that crossbar on the back here and just like the front, we've got it bolted to that. Now there are two layers of Velcro strips right here and that's gonna be for the front and the back, but it's only on the back side of it. The front does not have the dual layer. It's just got one layer of Velcro strips there, just like this one here. The last step is just to install the trim pieces. And as you can see, these are Velcroed in. You see the Velcro strips. There's those double strips I was telling you about. So there's two pieces, one for the front and one for the rear window. The one from the front is gonna have a more curved edge on the side here. So that's how you can tell which is which. And of course, the double-sided uh, Velcro is gonna be where the crossbar is, just like on this one as well. Uh, the crossbar is gonna be on the back. Let's go ahead and stick it in place. EV Base does give you white gloves so you don't mess up your uh, trim piece. So you're going to just kind of line this up in the back here and the rounded piece is going to be towards the front. Now we're going to do the same for the back. This is what the finished product looks like after it's installed. Now let me show you how this thing works. So when you want sunlight, you've got sunlight, but if it's too sunny and you wanna get some shade, all you have to do is manually close it. Just grab it by the little handles here and pull it forward. Instant shade. And the same goes for your rear passengers. You just pull and slide it up. So there are a few pros and cons to this product. I'll go through the pros first. First of all, it does what it's supposed to do. It really does block the sun. I can't really see any light coming through here and there's definitely no heat. It's cool to the touch. So that's the best thing about it. Another pro is that the headliner is a perfect match. So the coloring is just right. And lastly, I like that it's retractable. You can close it, you can open it whenever you need it, it's there. If you don't need it, just open it up and that's it. And now for just a couple cons, and they're not really that cons, I'm just nitpicking, but this is made out of paper. So it's a paper blind, so it's not gonna be very durable. If you have kids that are always poking at things or putting their hands on your glass, this could get smudged or dented up. It's supposed to be pretty resilient though, where it bounces back into shape, but I can just see with kids, you never know. Just know that it is made out of a paper material, so it's not like a plastic or anything like that that's gonna be a bit more durable. Something else to note is that you will need to adjust this to make it fit just right. Um, I'm still having some fitment issues right here where it doesn't seem to wanna stay in place like that. And I think that's just gonna be me removing this Velcro and repositioning it a few times to get it just right. So I think once you have it installed just right, it should look good and stay looking like this. 
I just don't think the uh, Velcro is catching on that crossbar here. I may have to shift this forward a tiny bit just so it catches. And the last con is that you will lose a few inches of head space. So I can put a hand between my head and the blind, but really it's only about a hand that I can fit because it's rubbing. So if you're a taller person or you're gonna be hauling taller people in the car, especially in the back seat, they may have some issues with it rubbing. If that's a problem, if you're just carrying someone temporarily, you can open the shade. And now they've got that head space again. This is the view from the rear view mirror. It does cut in a little bit to your view, but not really a whole lot. It's kind of on the same edge as where the tent on the, the factory glass is, you know, starting. So you really don't lose a lot of view from there. I don't really see that as a problem at all, but I know some of you might be particular about that. From outside the car, you really can't see it at all. So what do you guys think about the retractable sunshade from EV Base? If you like it, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Make sure you use coupon code because Tesla to save a lot of cash. Thanks again to EV Base for sending this out for review. And if you like the video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And if you want to see more reviews, more Tesla news, more Easter eggs, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the near future. Bye-bye.